sex energy is the one energy that is so much abused because it is not understood. To most, it is only for pleasure. Good, it is for pleasure, but for a more sacred pleasure. If I were to shake your hands, it is sex. And if I kissed you, it is sex. But if I, a male, penetrates into you, a woman, that also is sex. But with this special type of sex, it is the evocation of an intelligent self complete knowingness in the universe into incarnation as a human form. So that act is not an ordinary sex, not an ordinary contact. It is an evocation. And if that act could create a human being, it can create anything else you want. It can create a life of peace, joy, wisdom, and harmony for you. Whatever intention you're holding in mind, in that creative moment, you are establishing it. This is why it is important you purify your mind before sexual congress. By congress, I mean sexual intercourse. So, a mind filled with anger, hate, fear, jealousy is not qualified to enter into sexual congress. A useful practice is for the two parties going to get engaged in sexual congress to first sit face each other and honor each other by citing the God values you know in each other. That will evoke positive God energy. So the sex act becomes the creation of a universe of love, joy, wisdom. Remember, it is a creative power and must not be abused.